بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم This is the third question on, on Hajj and the question is who was the one who built the Kaaba and who was the one who raised its foundations and why it is called or given this name uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in Surah Al-Baqarah uh, 2, 127 وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْقَوَاعِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ And remember when Ibrahim and Ismail were raising the foundations of the house saying our Lord accept the service from us and very you are the all hearer all knower. Ibrahim alayhi salam is the one who built the Kaaba and raised its foundations with the help of his son Ismail alayhi salatu wa taslim. And in some reports it said that the Kaaba was built at the time of Adam alayhi salatu wassalam but it was then uh, it disappeared or was uh, uh, ruined then Ibrahim alayhi salam uh, raised it, uh, built it and renewed its uh, foundation and uh, renew its building Allah knows best uh, as to this and as to the meaning of the Kaaba or the uh, why it was called the Kaaba because it is a square foundation a square uh, shape and uh, uh, square shapes uh, that has uh, four uh, pillars is known as Kaaba and from that is the cube and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala added this house to himself as we learned uh, in the previous question uh, as this was uh, an honor and magnification of this house and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in Surah Al-Hajj 22-26 وَإِذْ بَوَأْنَا لِإِبْرَاهِيمَ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ أَنْ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِشَيْئًا وَطَهِّرْ بَيْتِيَ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْقَائِمِينَ وَالْرُكْعِ السُّجُودِ And remember when we showed Ibrahim the site of the sacred house saying associate not anything in worship with me and make prostration. And I'm purifying my house for those who circulate and والقائمين uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon his slaves to direct uh, themselves and their prayers towards the Kaaba and also ordained that they perform a pilgrimage uh, to it once uh, in the lifetime in their lifetime the next question is What's the authenticity of the following narration? That during each day and night, uh, 20 or 120 mercies descend upon this house. 60 for those who circulate, 40 for those who pray, and 20 for those who look at it, meaning look at the Kaaba. The answer that this hadith or this does not is not uh, authentic and the looking at the Kaaba is not a worship is not a worship but if the person intends by looking at the Kaaba to contemplate this magnificent uh, structure which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon his slaves to make visits to it and this increase uh, such contemplation increases their faith then this is required from this angle but the mere looking at it is not worship it's not worship and from this now it becomes clear from this it becomes clear the weakness of the saying of those who uh, say that uh, the person in prayer it is a sunnah for him if he sees the Kaaba to look at it 
I'm not and not look at his place of prostration. This saying is weak. This saying is weak because there is no evidence for this. And uh, also the one who would be looking at the Kaaba while the people circulate around, his heart will get distracted. And the Sunnah with respect to the person making the Salah is to look at his place of prostration, except during the time of Tashahud during the tashahud then he looks uh, to the uh, place of his pointing by his finger to his finger while he is pointing with it and similarly with respect to the sitting between the two prostrations then he points with his finger at the time of dua and looks at it so in conclusion the mere looking at the Kaaba is not worship. Wallahu ta'ala ala wa alam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.